So, I brought you into my library this week. I had a whole topic planned, but I just kind of got hijacked. So this week's video, we'll actually have to kind of wait till next week. See, there's a rat living in my library. And I'm not talking about Minnie Mouse over here. And you don't have to worry about it because I don't need an exterminator either. See, this rat lives up there in a big old rat hotel. See, she's a pet. It's not my pet, but she's still a pet. And she's dying. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to remember Eden. That's her name. Eden is the last in a long line of rodents that came before her. The other half kind of have has had this obsession with the little critters for well over a decade now. So uh, with a with a lot of rodents, we're talking rats, gerbils, mice. Also comes a lot of death. So we uh, we we've had enough. We, it was decided a while ago that Eden would be the last one. And for me, it's kind of fitting because Eden has always stood out for me. First of all, Eden has lived longer than any of the other ones did. Uh, much longer. Uh, and for a lot of that time, she's been by herself. Uh, when her sister died, she just adjusted. Uh, she proved that uh, these social creatures, not all of them, need the companionship that everyone thinks they do. She just got along just fine on her own. Um, just like when this tumor started growing on her side, she just adjusted. She adapted to it and she lived her life. Um, those tumors are a big problem with store-bought rats, if you didn't know. But this one changed my perspective about rats and other little critters from the beginning. She's the only one that was never afraid of me. She'd actually come out and see me when I'd walk in the room. Um, she's the only one I've ever touched, even though I've I only did it a couple times. Uh, eh, that was it. But I still remember what her little rubber nose felt like. <laughs> Uh, she's the only rat that I've really ever had any sort of bond with. Um, so I'll tell you one story, just one. Um, so for, till the very end, she liked to distinguish herself from all the other rats. Um, she, she decided one night that she was going to escape her big palace in the sky up here, and she got out. Um, other rats have got out before. Um, it didn't work out so well. One disappeared, a gerbil. Never did. We never knew what happened. Uh, then this uh, other one didn't uh, work out so well for that rat, uh, thanks to the cat. And th that's what's interesting about this is because uh, the rats, the cats, I'm sorry, generally get to roam free until I go to bed. Um, but it didn't happen this night for some reason. So the night that Eden escaped, the cats the one time I know about, actually put themselves to bed. I was a little thrown off when I went down to put them to bed, and uh, they were already down in their little cat apartment, which is my basement. Um, but they were had already tucked themselves in for the night, and they were done. And so that was that. So it was nothing compared to the surprise waiting for me upstairs, though, when I put myself to bed. So I put the cats away, I turned all the lights out, I'm getting into bed, and all of a sudden... The horror movie moment that everyone is afraid of actually happened to me. The monster under the bed actually started attacking my foot. But it wasn't really like attacking my foot. It was more like dancing on it, kind of poking at it, kind of biting and nibbling. But it didn't stop me from, you know, jumping on the bed and screaming like a girl. <laughs> uh, but it was just Eden under there saying hello. It'll always be a mystery, I guess, why she was out, what she was doing, where she was going, and how she picked a night when the cats had put themselves to bed and wouldn't be a problem for her. How she knew. But now, 
there's this. And it just makes you think of the bigger picture and that the inevitable is still inevitable. Like she could have died that night, but she didn't. But now that she is, um, it just makes you think of it all. And it's a reminder that, you know, my cats are also going to die sooner than later. Everyone I love is going to die. I'm going to die. So all of our numbers are going to be called eventually. So I guess what I have to say is that if you have pets, make sure you enjoy them and cherish them while you have them because you'll never have enough time with them. So make it count. But that also is true for your loved ones as well. I mean, you never know. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to have as much time with them as you think either. So make every moment count. And if nothing else, treat yourself well. It's your life. So live it. That's all I gotta say. I'll get off my soapbox now. Uh, I'll leave you with some better times with Eden. And prove to you that rats can be cute too. Give them a chance. <laughs>